I was just drawing playgrounds with a group of children, as one does, and I noticed this girl who was filled with beautiful energy and enthusiasm. I smiled at her, saying, you have a lot of energy, don't you? I remember how she looked at me with her big blue eyes, half out of breath, and within laughs she answered, too much. I want you to close your eyes. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> and picture yourself in class or at the hairdresser in a restaurant. You're five years old again, and what you want more than anything is to move. Return outside where nature is waiting to be explored. Your legs are twitchy and you're trying so hard to sit still because that is what you've been told to do. Open your eyes, but I want you to keep that in mind. We constantly want children to sit still, but now that there's such an increase in obesity, we're bugging them about being more active. Imagine being at that hairdresser or that restaurant and all you want to do is watch TV or play video games because outside there's no chance for you to play. High buildings, fast cars, on large streets. Think of what children are missing out on, not only because of the fun it is, but because of the health effects. I'm not going to bore you with the statistics because you know them better than I do. Obesity is rising, more and more people are living in, centers, in urban centers and slums, and we need to promote physical activity. I started a project in playground design, and I'm not a playground designer myself, correct, but I don't have to be. I asked children to draw and talk to me about playgrounds, and when I looked back at the drawings they gave me, I realized that 80% of them included at least one tree. So we're drawn to natural environments because they're good for our health. And we know that a child is more likely to grow up at a healthy weight if there's a park or a playground nearby. Well, what can we do with this? Here's my idea for us. And basically any of our teachers, my teachers would say, it's not rocket science. I'd like you to meet a few of my childhood companions. Meet the hiding tree. Meet the climbing tree, and meet the tree I never got to have but always wanted. This one is from Pippi Longstocking, and it said that there's lemonade growing in the trunk. I grew up with my sister and my parents in a very green area in Geneva, and trees were a huge part of my childhood. We would climb them, hide behind their leaves in the trunk, and even give them names. Once, we wrote a song about the trees in our garden. We loved our trees so much that we dubbed one of them our gang's headquarters. There should be a tree out there for every child. Trees such as these. This design is actually inspired by a tree I was talking about just a second ago. And of course, the suggestions to parents would be to hide healthier versions of the drinks inside the trunk. And then, the general idea to my designs is that there could be smaller play structures around the bottom of the trunk, so that as children learn to grow, uh, climb higher, they, well, they have a chance when they're younger to, grow, to play already. And then, a lot of the children I received designs from drew palm trees, and this inspired me to draw this tree. And of course, it works in different climates than the original trees. Trees such as the weeping willow and the dawn redwood, just two types of trees, that can grow extremely fast, about one meter a year, was showing us that if we plant a tree to the birth of every child, by the, child, by the time the child is even old enough to play on playgrounds, the tree would already be about three meters in height. I know we don't have a lot of space in our new large cities, but planting trees doesn't take up much space. It's nature incorporated, gives a chance for physical activity, and doesn't take up much space. So we need to ask children to design their favorite magical trees and plant them all across the globe. If I take you back to that hairdresser, 
or that classroom. What I'm saying isn't that focusing is an important skill to learn. I'm just saying that our solution cannot be a TV in the place where the board is, or the mirror replaced by a computer. What I'm asking of us is to take into our own hands the chance to have a future generation of happy and healthy adults. We need to involve children in our urban planning, incorporate nature into our streets, plant a tree for every child. Thank you. Um, thank you again to the organizers for giving me the opportunity to speak here. Of course, I'm not the only child that um, has ideas, and so um, not every child has the opportunity to be here today. So a video has been created to um, ha show other children who are telling you their stories about their favorite places in cities. Vill man spela gärna i skolan i Lund. <coughs> och för jag tycker att denna platsen är bra. För att både jag och mina kompisar är väldigt nära. Samt att denna skola är ganska avskilt. Men det tar ändå inte så långt in att komma in till liksom, innerstan. Här finns en eh, mataffär ganska nära och en kebabkiosk. Så om man är hungrig eller vill någonting att dricka så är det inte så, så långt bort. Varför jag tycker att denna platsen är det bästa platsen att hänga på i Lund. För att jag är basketintresserad. Här finns det två jättebra planer och en där borta. Så det finns tre basketplaner. Samt att det finns flertal bänkar om man vill sitta och prata med kompisar. <hör> och sen finns det en bänk där som är väldigt avskild om man bara vill vara, sitta och snacka i lugn och ro. Nu är det för att jag tycker att denna platsen är bra. Jag gillar like this place right here. It's a park. It's a very big and open park. Um, with a lot of different places and different things. I mostly just like sit around and talk with my friends. Just, we can sit here for hours. There are a lot of people around you, but it's not like they're suffocating you. You have space to talk. This is my favorite place in the city. Uh, I like it a lot because it's a very typical place from Lisbon. It doesn't ha and it doesn't have many people, uh, and it's also very cozy. And it's great to have a snack or drink something in the afternoon uh, with your friends and family. I like these kind of squares because I think they are very welcoming and they bring people together and they are a great way, it's a great thing for the neighborhoods also and it doesn't have any cars, it's just people and I think that's very good. I love to go out in nature. I like to go out in nature, like turbo and so on. Jag gillar jag också att åka utomlands. I skogen då tycker jag om... Nej, jag tycker om att klättra, bygga kojor, utforska nya ställen. Man får ju inte så här bara lekplatser som på lekland utan... Man kan ju också leka lite ute i naturen istället för att vara hemma och spela dataspel. När jag får chansen, till exempel när det är sommarlov, då ska jag vara ute i naturen mer än att spela. Jag heter min lugar favorit del patio vivo. Här jag med mina amiga, det är en spel som är del tiburon. Det är en tiburon som jag tar på här. Y nosotras tenemos que pasar de un lado a otro sin que nos toque. Y si nos toca, nos toca pillar con ella. Yo prefiero porque aquí hay muchos paus y puedo hacer todo lo que quiser y hay muchos y puedo fabricar muchas cabanas. Esta cabana que hacemos aquí. Hola, mi cabana tan gira. Lo fui con mis amigos. 
na cidade devia haver mais espaços destes porque, para as pessoas fabricarem os seus brinquedos e não estarem sempre dentro de casa. Um dia eu escrevi sobre o caso mesmo na favorito plato aqui em um, 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 um quarteiro. Este é o meu primeiro favorito plato. Então, você pode fazer um truque por exemplo, isso. Alltså på parken i Uppsala, parken i Uppsala så brukar jag träffa i bibliotek. Ibland jag brukar jag träffa mina kompisar. Ja, så i, alltså i stadparken är det en ställe där så man, det är lugnt, man kan sitta och träffa. Så man, man känner sig säker, trygg, trygg, man känner sig trygg. Ja, man kan sitta och träffa varandra och prata. Först av allt, jag vill gå till en It has a big compound, and there, when there is when there is boys boys where they can kick from football, and when girls have where they can dance all sing, and there when there is a swimming pool. I want the duty girl to be there because. If a if a thief comes to get get some children from the compound, the the security can come and we will catch them.